Hey, Steph listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel. Good morning from Skift. For daily updates in your inbox, subscribe to the Skift Daily Newsletter at skift.com slash daily. It's Thursday, June 3rd in New York City. And now here's what you need to know about the business of travel today. Although tourism experts have broadly expressed optimism about a tourism rebound by next year, a new survey reveals a general pessimism that a full tourism recovery won't happen anytime soon, writes global tourism reporter Lebowit Lily Girma. Close to half of the respondents to a May survey said they don't see international tourism returning to 2019 levels until 2024 or later, while 36% believe 2023 will be a full recovery year, according to the survey conducted by the United Nations World Tourism Organization, UNWTO. Although the UNWTO's research found that international tourist arrivals were down 83% in the first quarter of 2021, the survey did reveal many experts felt confident about a rebound in international tourism. 60% of respondents foresee such a development occurring by 2022, in contrast to 50% of those surveyed in January. However, as the organization's secretary general stated, any rebound is highly dependent on increased vaccinations worldwide. Next, rental car giant Enterprise Holdings might finally be able to get the most out of its acquisition of Deem, writes corporate travel editor Matthew Parsons. In 2019, when Enterprise purchased Deem, a travel technology company that develops platforms for corporate clients to book all forms of travel, it had big plans for the San Francisco-based business. While the pandemic largely shut down business travel in 2020, Deem's president said the pause was actually beneficial as it enabled the company to prepare for its growth. As business travel is rebounding, many corporate executives have come to rely on online booking tools like Team, which has functions that, among other things, allows users to search for information on COVID-19, restrictions in certain locations, and entry and exit regulations for numerous countries. And although Deem has to compete with other travel technology startups for talent, President David Grace feels that the company's geographic spread, it has job locations on three continents, puts it in a prime position to win those battles. Finally, Zoom Video released its fiscal first quarter 2022 earnings on Tuesday, and the communications technology company recorded revenues of $956.2 million, reported Victoria Copens from Event Manager Blog, a Skift brand. That figure represents a 191% increase over the year-ago period. Despite revenue that surpassed the company's expectations, a slowdown in growth is on the horizon for Zoom. The fiscal first quarter is the first in more than a year in which Zoom hasn't reported an increase in revenue from the previous quarter. For more travel stories and deep dives into the latest trends, head to skiff.com. To find these stories and more insight into the business of travel, subscribe to the Skift Daily newsletter at skiff.com daily. Spoken Layer Hey, Skiff listeners, hear about the latest trends in the travel industry with the brand USA Talks Travel Podcast. Right now, listen to special live from IPW interviews featuring U.S. Travel's Jeff Freeman. DMOs are at the heartbeat of U.S. Travel. Liz Bittner from Travel South. A lot of key gateway markets are back. L.A. Tourism's Adam Burke. We all win when we all partner together. Plus, brand USA's Stacey Melman and Jackie Ennis with international travel trends and Chris Thompson's farewell finale. I'm Mark Lapidus. Join us for brand USA Talks Travel on your favorite podcast platform. Brand USA Talks Travel.